Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going over calories for women and specifically how to calculate them for a de calorie deficit or to lose weight. Kings, if you want to watch, it's going to play the same way, but the number is going to work out a little bit differently and the formula is different, but the steps that I'm going to show you are going to work out the same. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing or going to my website, krockfit.com home, so you can stay in tune with all that I'm doing and what I put out. Please stay to the end because I'm actually going to give you my favorite app for tracking these calories. So stay tuned for all of it. Let's get into it. So let's get into it. What exactly is a calorie before we start calculating for a caloric deficit, right? So a calorie is actually defined as the amount of energy that it takes to heat one gram of water one degree Celsius. So it's really not that much energy. It's really not that much energy. So that plays into our food a little bit differently because a nutritional calorie is actually a thousand regular calories, right? It's called a kilocalorie. So that's actually the calories that we put on the backs of the food labels. But be careful about the backs of the food labels because those so-called zero calorie, by FDA law, anything under five calories per gram, they can actually legally label it as zero calorie. So be careful about that. Be careful. More on, on calories, it doesn't make any sense to apply it to non-edible things, right? But just understand that all things have a fuel and energy stored up into it. We just happen to get our food by eating things, but like this couch, for example, I can set that on fire and measure off the heat that it's taking, and that is, would be the same idea. But calories are for edible things. Let's get into actually calculating it now. So how many calories do you actually need? Let's find out. There's a formula for it. It's right here. It's a really long formula. So we're gonna need our calculators. Psych. There's some programs on the computer, but I wanted you to guys to understand that there actually is a formula for it, right? There's actually math and science going on behind it. But because this is the information age, I'm not going to actually give, make you do the math. And I'm going to give you the tool to do it easier for yourself. But that gets us into the idea of TDE, or your total daily energy expenditure. And what that really means is how many calories it takes for yourself to maintain you with all of your activity going on. Whether it's that you're walking to work, whether you're taking the stairs, whether you're a heavy mover, whether you garden, it takes all of that activity, right? Your activity level, it takes all that into consideration and then it builds out how, much, how many calories it would take to maintain you with all of that taken into consideration. Now, let's get into actually how the program works on the computer, and I'll see you there. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and open a browser. The browser, we're going to go to Google, right? Just type in Google, or it's already on the front page, but for simplicity's sake and making sure we're already there, we're going to go ahead and type in TDE calculator. TDE calculator, right there. So we're going to click on that and it's going to give us the TDE calculator. It's not hard to calculate. It's really not. So you first and foremost, you have your gender, your age, your weight, your height, and your activity level. Pay special attention to your activity level because a lot of people overestimate their activity. So we're going to plug it in a couple of times to get a range going, right? On this one specifically, it'll actually give you a range the first time, but if you're using a different one, because all of them roughly do the same math, just with a different, little, little bit different rounding, but if you're using this one, it'll actually give it to you there. So let's get into it. We'll go ahead and play around with my information first. So I'm a male, 22. My weight, I'm 168 pounds. I am five foot eight. And then, so the activity. Most people, if you work out three to five times, you have a kind of steady office job and work out three to five times a week, that would consider be considered to be light. If you work out maybe once or twice, that would be light. 
or if you actually have a gardening job where you go running or take the stairs, something along those lines. But again, we're going to take it into a range to get a general idea of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put heavy exercise because I don't work out twice a day anymore. And we're going to calculate. So according to this, my maintenance calories are going to be 2,996 calories per day. It's really hard to get exactly that number. It's really hard to get that exact number. So we're going to go ahead and say that's 3,000. Now, with calculating the calories, we want a 500 calorie deficit. Why? Because it is generally understood that 3,500 calories is equal to one pound of fat. So if we take that 3,500 calories and divide it by seven, we get the 500 calories per day in a deficit. So we're gonna go back and refresh this page. We can go female, where we'll say 822 and then 170. And then we're gonna go five foot three. And then we'll say moderate exercise. We'll say probably a strength training plan two to three times a week with some cardio built in and then some activity outside of that. Maybe it's a walk, maybe it's taking the stairs, but some activities out there and that would consider be a moderately active person so let's click that. Obviously, any of these is just an example. So take your own case and build it out for yourself. Again, this is an example. So we're gonna go ahead and get 2,325 calories. May, it may or may not be the right for you, whatever number that spits out. So we're gonna go ahead and get the, the range, right? So the light exercise says right around 20, uh, it says 2,063 calories and the heavy exercise in between is 2,500 calories. So we can uh, reasonably make the assumption that we can go between probably 22 to 2,400 calories right in that range. That way it'll give us the best number to play with and that we can use the other tools to actually track our weight loss and track to see what is actually happening. Because this is a plan, and now we have to monitor the plan to see if it's actually working according to the plan. Because we all know plans go to shit as soon as bullets start flying. But go ahead and try that. So now we have the calories that we need for a caloric deficit. What do we do with them? We're going to track them. But before we get into that, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your feedback if this is all making sense. If it's not, if it is, what kind of questions you have, let me know. But we're going to track them in what's known as a food diary or a food log, a journal log. There's a lot of different names based on who you ask, but essentially it's all the same. It's a list that's going to track what you've eaten, what everything they put in your mouth, their calories. My favorite, and we went over this in the intro, that my favorite way to track it is MyFitnessPal. Let me give you a preface on MyFitnessPal though, before you go ahead and download it. It's super easy to use, super easy to use, but do not I repeat, do not use it for the caloric deficit in the calories that they use. Go ahead and plug in your own cal calculations and your macros, which I have a link to that down in the description down below if you want to see that to calculate your macros. But please do not use them. They have people seriously under eating, seriously under eating for a number of reasons. You want to be able to eat as much as possible while still getting to your goals, right? So now you know how to calculate your calories and you know right around where you need to be. If you want to learn how to calculate the macros to go that and that, this step further, link to that in the description down below. But my message to you is that fitness is a journey, right? It's the journey of finding yourself and I'm glad that you're taking the first step forward, but please heed my warning that it won't, it won't make you happy. It won't make you happy. Just losing weight won't make you happy. I highly suggest that you be comfortable for who you are and take the step to be healthier or be, to be better than you were yesterday for yourself. For yourself. I mean, if you're not going to be on your own team, who else is going to be? So make the rest of your life the best of your life, and I'll see you in the next video.